Hey you guys, this is Suha and today I have another interesting tutorial for you how you can add highlights and shadows and depth to your illustration. So keep on watching and if you like it, give it a huge thumbs up and let's get into today's video. So you have already seen me coloring this illustration in my last video. If you haven't watched it, I will have the link in the description bar below. I also went ahead and did a little bit of gold sequin type of uh, fabric in the collar that I wanted to share with you. It's actually a brush that I created here in Photoshop. It's a very interesting brush. If I zoom in, you will be able to see much better. So I wanted to make a new video on that. So if you want to see that, do subscribe to my channel. There will be a new video, especially how to create this type of brush in Photoshop. So for now, let's just get into our tutorial and delete that layer. So in this video, I will cover a lot of uh, different techniques. So try to keep up. I, there's a lot to go through. So let's get started, okay? Uh, so let's add highlights and shadows to this dress, to this illustration. And this is when you will understand why it's important to work in separate layers because we are going to create those shadows and highlights in different layers because uh, all of these have different colors. We cannot just create one shadows or one highlight. So to do that first, we will be working on the dress layer. And we're going to create a new layer uh, on top of the dress layer, okay? So we have a new layer on top of the dress. Let's call it shadows. And one more layer. Let's call it highlights. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to change the blending mode of these two layers, okay? So for the shadows, we want soft light and soft light. And for the highlights, we want hard light. You can use soft light for both highlights and shadows. So the first thing we did, create two new layers and rename them as shadows and highlight. Then we change the blending mode. One soft light and another is hard light. Change your foreground and background color from black and white so you have the flexibility to change them quickly. Now I'm going to uh, select my brush tool B for brush tool and just pick a soft round brush. Make the brush a little bit smaller. So right now we will be working on the dress, right? So for the shadows, come to the shadow layer and make sure your color foreground color is black and bring down your opacity and flow to about 19 and 23 it's totally up to you how you like to work i like to start working at a low rate and then bring it up little by little so that builds up the color much better the first thing i will do is start drawing on those shadow areas and as you can see, it's already creating so much depth. If you can see it, because the flow is lower down to 23%, this gives you the ability to work as a real brush. A real brush doesn't put too much color at first. We usually work, uh, we usually build up our color little by little. And that's what the flow and opacity does. It gives you the flavor of a real brush and color. We are going to build the color little by little and if you think that this is too slow, you can bring them up a little bit so you get more color at a time. See, that's doing so much difference right now already. It's actually the results depend on how much time you spend on it. The more time you'll spend on this, it will look much better. Next, we are going to come to the highlights and we are going to change our foreground color to white. You can swipe between these two colors by using the shortcut key X. You can see I'm pressing the X and that changes the color. For highlights, you want to use white color and remember the blending mode is hard light. 
see it's, it's too much it's just too much so undo that control alt z to undo anything you did wrong again come to the highlights i'm going to bring these down because that was putting too much color and it did not look realistic right So if you think it's too much, you can also lower the opacity of that particular layer here. I think that looks good. So right now you cannot see that the colors are actually coming out of the dress. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Light, right now, since it's soft light, you cannot actually see what's going on outside but if I come to normal light you will see everything is coming outside and everything is coloring not just the dress also the background but that is not what we want we want the colors we want the shadows to be only visible where the dress is so how we can achieve that is we are going to clip it with the dress so to clip, we are going to hold down the Alt key and bring our mouse right in between those two layers and click. So as you can see, the things that were showing outside are gone right now. The shadows is only visible where the dress is. The underlying layer means that this layer is clipped with this layer. And there's also an arrow that's showing downwards so that means that it's clipped with this layer so we are going to do the same thing alt hold on the alt key and when you see that icon click with your mouse now st again the highlights are also visible in those areas we can change the blending mode to soft light and highlight for the highlights hard light and that's how you add highlights and shadows by clipping it with another layer and by changing the blending mode so i went ahead and did the rest of the illustration i added highlights and shadows in all of the areas uh, that was needed and as you can see already it creates so much depth to this illustration i'm going to turn it back on and off so you can understand the difference um, Without the, without the highlights and shadows, the dress looks flat, but with those added, it looks it creates so much depth to your illustrations. So I hope you learned something today and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.